<laughs> Defiance is really, I mean, it's really different. I mean, there hasn't really been something this big and this, you know, different in a while. Uh, what was it like filming? Because it seems like there's, you know, a lot of opportunity for interaction across the big cast. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, you know, I think it was exciting for all of us to jump into this brand new world that was created and I mean the scope of it is so epic. In many ways we felt like we were shooting a feature film every week, not an hour long TV show. Mm -hmm. It's a really ambitious show and the, the, the creative team and the actors have just created this incredible landscape that I, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. But then it does come down a lot to characters because, uh, you, know, you know, being on set not that long ago, uh, you know, the, the filmmaking crew was talking about the fact that it's, it's character driven week to week. Uh, what's what's some of the stuff coming up that it, you know you can't talk about the stories? You want but spoilers, don't you? No, I don't want spoilers. But what? Bad, what's... bad, bad man. <laughs> <laughs> what's the stuff going on in terms of mixing that that battle versus the outside world and the the stories in between all the characters? Yeah. I mean, the the show works on so many different levels. It's like an onion with so many different layers to peel away. You have you know the outer world. Um, trying to in invade the town and take it over. You have the internal struggles within the town of Defiance between all the different races of aliens and humans. And then you have the real, the real dramas that goes, the intimate dramas that are going on between the characters as well. So it's it's just so multi-layered and so rich that it gives an audience an opportunity to delve into the world on so many different levels. And you know, in terms of you guys actually play sisters, mm -hmm. uh, what was that like? Because it seems like, uh, you know, there's, there's a cool dynamic there. Yeah, yeah, they're best friends and they, they approach life, they, their jobs are radically different. But they approach life with optimism. Yeah, um, they, uh, you know, what, what I really, was one of the things I really loved about the script in the beginning was the complexity of the sisters, their relationship. Um, and the fact that we've explored this kind of relationship in television before with men, where he's a male mayor and then the brothers, like the head of the mafia and running the underworld, and you know, they, which show is they that? don't like each other. You know, and no, it's been explored so many times. We've never really seen it from a, 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 a woman, a female angle, right. um, where you have two, they're both successful in their own way, it's just one is the mayor and one, you know, runs the brothel. Right. And it's uh, Amanda's biggest struggle is to see her sister as an equal. Hmm. And that's really um, what carries through through the series is, is her, that's her biggest struggle is to, is to show her some respect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, as far as uh, Kenya is concerned, it's not a brothel and it's a sex club and it's a place of pride where people can go and express themselves sexually without apology and except amanda she can't go right because she's taking a stance <laughs> right and yeah. she's the one person in town that needs to go yeah and i think <laughs> i think that kenya just believes that amanda's losing and it also it deeply hurts her because this is somebody who has been an inspiration for Kenya right. to be better in life. And I find the dynamic interesting too that there's kind of the two main guys who are kind of battling it out for the control of the town as well and, and you're kind of the new mayor stuck in the middle at the same time. Yeah, I, I would say there's, th you know, I'm also involved in that battle trying right. to maintain control of the town. So, um, so yeah, um, uh, 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 Daytac Tar uh, becomes a, a, a major force that we have to deal with throughout the series, and um, it, it's uh, it threatens it threatens the town of Defiance on many different levels. Is that, mm -hmm. I'm trying not to give any spoilers away. Yeah, you're <laughs> very admirable. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know they will kill me if I do, right? You know, course. like, you will read how Julie Ben died in Toronto. Like. <laughs> Especially since it was filmed here, they can send out their squads immediately to get you. Yeah, so yeah. I can't say anything. So, I mean, in terms of working with the cast, there's so many different 
people. I mean, what uh, what were some of the highlights of working with, you know, I mean, Graham Greene? I mean, oh, I mean, Graham is absolutely amazing. Uh, he scares me just a little bit. He's such a sweet <laughs> man, but he does have a little bit of bite. Um, but he's so, um, God, he's just so great. Like just so great to work with, so present in the scenes and 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 really um I get nervous every time I have to talk to him. <laughs> what can I say? And then uh, I have the pleasure of working with Jamie Murray and we've been, you know, longtime friends. She's one of my best friends and so to be able to be on a show together and kind of, you know, help each other on um crafting our performances and, and working together and then hang, being able to hang out with her at the end of the night was ex very exciting for me. And you have quite a few scenes with, well, you have a few scenes with Grant, uh, mm -hmm. well, you both do, but, uh, I mean, what was Grant like on set? Um, very nice, very professional and nice and loves hanging. He's kind of like the big daddy of set, yeah. he kind of <laughs> takes care of everybody, makes sure everybody is, is, is doing good and, yeah. and has water and is, you know, he's like the big, the big daddy of defiance. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> way of describing it. Every, the cast is really lovely, very professional and everybody's very down to earth, which is fantastic. Well, I thought it was interesting too, though, that Grant was described, at least on the, the set visit, as uh, maybe the Han Solo of, uh, of this kind of adventure. Uh, <laughs> did you see much of that? Uh, um, I mean, I know they, uh, my Star Wars career is really growing. I know they talked a lot about how, um, uh, Nolan and Amanda had kind of like a Han Solo, Princess Leia, um, uh, b banter back and forth. Right. And, um, so we did, like, I watched a lot of that to see what that was and to try to, um, capture that. And we did have that, especially in the pilot, um, that sense of fun and playfulness with each other. But, um, you know, things take a pretty serious turn quite quickly. Right. So um, I hope we get to explore more of that. Cool. Well, I mean, my other question is, have you guys touched the video game? I mean, it's... No. I, did, I touched it. Yeah. I mean, I, I <laughs> touched it. I... You've seen <laughs> no. it, obviously, but yeah. not, like, I, actually no. picked it up. I tried to play it. Um, tried to play it. I ran into a wall. I set myself on fire and then I blew myself up. Nice. I don't think that's how you're supposed to play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. pretty cool though. Do you guys get a chance? Were you actually? Did you do performance capture for the game? No, I'm not no, in the game. Yeah, no, yeah. not yet. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully so soon. I want to put on that outfit with the ping pong balls and move around. Oh, is that what you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, in terms of the overall arc, can, you can't talk about the stories, but can you talk about maybe? What we can expect in terms of the the fight inside versus the fight outside the city? Um, a lot of action. A lot of action. Um, you know, the show throughout the season takes many twists and turns, and and I think the one thing that we learned as actors is what you think is going to happen, something different completely happens. So um, it it's uh, it took all of us on a journey and a, a really great kind of roller coaster ride. Uh, Playing the characters, so I think the audience will go on that same, have that same experience, and um, it, it really, uh, it's a lot. A lot happens. God, I can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that as the writers got to know the characters more, you know, it was like peeling back layers of an onion that you really get to see the contradictions in the characters, which is what I think makes a show great is how flawed they are, and that and how wonderful and how, how much they, each character tries. Mm. And I think that those contradictions make for interesting drama and very real people. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thank you, ladies, very Thank much. You. Thank you.